Addiction is a bear, it is really a monster, and some days I don't even know how I get through it. And yes, NA is great, and all these things are wonderful, but if it's not, I mean, if it wasn't for Jesus Christ, I would not do it. When I was young, I was raised Catholic. I'm one of five children. Um, we were all very close. I always kind of identified with my older brother, and uh, I always remember my whole life like trying to save him and, and do all these things. I ended up going to school to be a social worker because I, I was always attracted to that life. And, uh, but I was, always went to help people. Um, my first semester of grad school, my brother was, uh, was murdered. And that was really the first real heartbreak of my life. Um, and I was pretty broken after that. And um, little did I know I was pretty codependent. I had a series of relationships that were like that. Um, and then I fell in love with this, this guy's name was Jeffrey and I did anything for him and I loved his family and it was great. And then my last semester of graduate school, um, I thought I was finally gonna get my happy ending and he died. And I found him dead and I had to tell his mother and it was, it was horrible, it was one of the worst times of my life. I thought that I was broken beyond repair at that moment, and um, four months later to the day, my father had a massive heart attack and he died. My life was shattered um, at that moment. I couldn't take care of my kids. I couldn't see anything besides my pain. And like, it, it, was, it was horrible. I just could not get up. And instead of me going to Jesus Christ, I tried to fill that void any way I could. And, and for me, it was drugs and alcohol. I no longer was a mother to my children. Uh, the years that I spent in school, none of that meant anything to me. I was getting offers for jobs and I didn't care. They talked about their fathers, and my dad died at 60, not, he was 62 years old, and I didn't want to help other people. I didn't want to help people that had drug problems or because I had just lost so much. So I spent years running from my problems. But there was moments in my life that God just really spoke to me. My brother David is amazing. And I remember just laying there and him coming in, I said to him, David, do you hate me? And he said, no, Lord, you're just sick right now. And um, he said, I remember a time where you could make the whole room shine like no one else. He said, but right now you just can't. You know, all those moments, like things my mother did for me and the prayers and prayers from Jeff's family and just this church, it's just amazing. Like I came in here so broken and I came here before and I still went back out one more time. And the last time I, I, trying to fight for my children, I used over a feeling because I got spoiled and I said, well, they're gonna, you know, I got clean and they're gonna still try and take my kids and I'm just gonna do what I want. And I realize that the devil has such a hold on me when I use drugs to any capacity. Like, I am no longer the person that cares. I became unrecognizable. Like, I, the things I said I'd never do, I would do. There's nothing. And that song, Reckless Love, when I came back, I just remember all those things like, my oldest brother took me to my first NA meeting. My, Jeff took me to celebrate recovery with his family and my father gave me my faith and those three things have saved my life. I have my kids back today and it's just, I mean, it's amazing. Like when I came back here, I knew like there was no wall that God would not kick down. When I was down there in the city and just so broken and I mean, I remember being in a jail cell. This wasn't even the last time, it was the second to last time I was arrested. 
I was on my knees and I begged God. I said, please God, just kill me or take this from me. And um, I, went, I got arrested another 24 hours later again. And I stayed there for the whole weekend. And my oldest son and my mother got me out of jail and they put me back into treatment. And I came to this church and I know this is God. I know it, I got baptized in it. I, ironically, it was on Father's Day and um, and I'm not a crier, but I, I shed tears because I knew that God, He saved my life. Like He saved everything about me and all these things. I I was a weak person before. I was codependent. I didn't like me, and now I'm okay with me. I know that God has a purpose for me. He really does. And um, like I can't get enough of the Bible and like learning about God and just even I pray for other people and I just see like it's really it helps them and I mean I have literally I mean just to say where I have been and the friends that I've lost along the way I don't know why but God chose me to be here and I am grateful today